So all I want to do is lightly get through the first layer of paint until I get to the bare wood. I'm using 120 grit sandpaper, but I'm not using the sandpaper to sand the entire surface. I'm just hitting the corners and the edges with it. So what I have here is a half inch piece of plywood that I painted the same color as the desk. When the paint was dry, I took my hand sander and I sort of just rounded over all of the edges here, here, and here. I took three pieces of painter's tape to separate it into four sections because these are the four different products I wanted to try. First over here is the antiquing wax and then second is wood stain and vintage aqua. Third is wood stain and weathered gray. Fourth is wood stain and sun bleached. I'm gonna go with the sun bleached for two reasons. One is it creates more of a realistic distress look and two it's sort of is the same color as these knobs which I did not paint by the way. That was the original color of the desk. So now I'm going to distress this desk and I'm gonna use the furniture distressing technique that I used on the console tables about a year ago. This technique is for distressing painted surfaces or painted furniture. The technique that you would use to distress a raw piece of wood would be different, but this is for painted surfaces. One rag that you're gonna to use to apply the stain, you just dip it in. I'm gonna go over the entire surface with uh, the stain, so it's gonna darken up the white paint. And my favorite part about distressing painted furniture is it's easier to control the amount <clears throat> of stain that seeps into the paint. The more that you wipe, the more that comes up. If you want to achieve a darker look, just don't wipe as much. Pretty simple. Okay, so now I'm gonna flip the rag over to where the wet part of the rag is not touching the surface. So this is how I'm gonna sort of blend it in. If I keep rubbing with the part of the rag that the stain is on, it's gonna form street marks. It's not gonna be good. You don't want street marks. Because street marks will show that you intentionally did it the whole point of doing this is to make it appear as though it aged naturally. You don't need a lot of stain to, to do this. A little goes a long way. All right. right, so that's a clean rag. When you go to white, see, I'm going to put on three coats of the polycrylic 
in a clear mott sheen. I highly recommend getting a can of the liquid as well as a can of the spray with the same sheen levels, clear mott, clear mott. At some different angles, you can kind of see if you missed anything. I only use the liquid on the flat surfaces or the flat sides. I use the spray can if the surface is curved or something like that. Swooping motion, slow and steady. That's it, I'm gonna let that dry. About an hour and a half, come back, put on another coat, put on the third coat, and then I'm done.